So something that's really important when blocking and playing defense is each player needs to commit to what they're supposed to do, what, what their responsibilities are. So there are signals that a, a blocker signals uh, the defensive player on what they're going to block. One is blocking line, two is blocking angle, fist is blocking ball, and open hand usually means they're not going to block. If your team is serving, then the blocker is going to decide what they're going to block and signal you before the serve. You can also decide what the blocker is going to block before the ball is even served. Instead of trying to signal each other during the rally, you decide before the serve. So for example, the blocker just could decide if you served a left side player, we're going to block them line. Or maybe you're going to block both players line and just do that for a while. And then a few points later, you might switch it up and start blocking angle. Or maybe half the game you block line, the other half the game you block angle. In the beginning, I would keep it as less complicated as possible. But once you get comfortable uh, signaling, you may be able to signal during the rally and make decisions on the fly. So if the blocker signals two, this means they're going to block angle. And if they're blocking angle, then the defender is supposed to cover down the line. If the blocker signals one, the defender is covering the cross-court attack. If the blocker signals a fist, this means they're blocking the ball and the defender is going to have to decide as the play is happening what they're going to cover. If blocking line or blocking angle isn't working, a lot of times trying to block ball is a good strategy. This can be a good strategy to confuse the hitter on where to hit because they don't know whether you're blocking line or angle. And then you don't, they're confused about the defensive player because they don't know where they're playing defense. So something that's really important when blocking and playing defense is each player needs to commit to what they're supposed to do, what, what their responsibilities are. So if the blocker is supposed to be blocking line, they have to take away that ball that's hit down the line. They can't have the ball cross the tape, past their arms, down the line. They have to take away that hit. It's okay if they hit it over them. If they, they hit the ball over them, the defender's supposed to get that ball. But, if they, but they can't give away that hit down the line over the tape when they're supposed to block line. Same thing for a ball that's hit down into the angle. The blocker has got to take away the ball that crosses right above the tape into the angle. That's their responsibility and that's what they're supposed to take away. Then, then the same thing on defense. The defender, if they're supposed to be covering the angle, they have to take away the angle. They can't miss on somebody hitting the ball angle. Now there will be situations where there's no way they can hit the ball angle and you can give that up and you can be moving to run down a shot that can go down the line. But if you don't know and you're supposed to be in the angle and you don't know whether or not it's going to be hit angle, you've got to be able to, you've got to, be able to take that ball away. So basically you don't want to get caught not being where you're supposed to be. So there's a real big problem if you don't commit to where you're supposed to be. It really messes everything up. You can mess up your partner and you're just not going to make the play, so it's not going to work. So for example, if the blocker is supposed to block line and they, they're late getting there and they're reaching into the line and only th only bad can go come from that because it's either going to go off their hands and go out of bounds and they're not going to get the block. It's just, it's just going to cause a problem. That's what's so important with blocking is that you have to commit to whatever it is that you're doing. If you're going to block line, you've got to get there and get in position to block line. If you're going to block angle, get in position and block angle. If you get caught in between, then chances are it's not going to work out. And there are times when you know that the ball won't be hit to certain areas of the court. For example, let's say you have antennas and the, the set is set out past the antenna and there's no way they can hit the ball down the line. So then you don't need to be covering line. Stay in the angle and be ready if your partner is blocking angle then they can block angle and you can be ready to run down the shot in the angle and there's a really good chance you're going to get the ball. This is the difference between a really good defender and everybody else. A really good defender will recognize situations like this. A good defender can seem like it can seem like they're always in the right position and they're able to cover the entire court. When really they're not really covering the entire court. They're just eliminating the possibilities that aren't going to happen and they're just taking away what's most likely going to happen. So if the blocker is blocking line, defensive player covers the angle. If the blocker is blocking angle, defender starts in the middle of the court first before they move over to cover the shot down the line. So what happens if the defender is there early before the hitter hits the ball or before the setter sets the ball? If, if the defender gets here really early, they will be able to see that the whole court is open over here, and so they'll know where to hit. They'll know where they're defending, 
and so they could just hit an easy shot up here. So it's a lot harder to start over here and come over here than it is to start in the middle first and then run over here to play defense. So it's all about timing. You start in the middle and you got to figure out when it, when's the right time to go and cover line. If you're defending, if you're worried about a really hard hit down the line, you're going to have to leave earlier, right? But if it's going, just going to be a shot down the line, then you can w really wait a long time before you move over here to cover down the line. Most teams have the blocker block line and the defender dig angle because it's a lot easier for the defender to start in the middle and then they could just take a step this way to dig a hard, sharp, sharp angle hit. Or maybe if they're worried about the shot down the line, they could just go from here to like right here. And so then this is a better angle to get this, get this ball. Now, if you're interested in becoming a better defender, be sure to watch my video on positioning on defense. The link to watch it is in the description below and also in the cards in this video. If you've been struggling with defense and have a question related to playing defense, please comment below with a follow-up question. If you like this video, please let me know by liking it below. Subscribe and share it with your volleyball friends. And comment below with the word helpful if you found this video has helped.